Hi there, my name is Morgan and I'm here to share my progesterone and oil injection tips and advice. Not that I'm a pro, not by a long shot, but I um, just scouring through YouTube, looking at quite a lot of videos, some were very helpful, especially one that I will link in the description. Um, but um, I have gathered other piece of advice on the internet that have made it, that made just a huge difference for me in terms of not having lumps and knots and uh, making this process as pain-free as possible. And I figured I will compile all the tips that I now use on a daily basis and share them with my fellow aspiring mamas and uh, IVF ladies. Um, so the first thing that I've learned, and that's from my one of the nurses at the clinic, is to not ice the area before. Um, and it totally makes sense because it's oil. So if you ice, the area will get it will get cold and it will prevent the oil from diffusing into the muscles. So then you're more likely to get knots and lumps on the injection site. So the first thing would be that, so I, I am currently having my um, hot compress working its magic. In the meantime, I'm gonna warm up this oil. Um, I tend to warm it up either, either in my hand under my arm while I prepare the syringe. Um, I noticed that it doesn't need to be there super, super long. And, I'll show you why in a moment. Anyway, so I've got these ready. I'm gonna have two cotton pads, one with a bit of antiseptic. It's um it's ditto really there and I'm gonna get it's ready. The first time I did it, I almost passed out before doing the injection because of the, the size of the needle. I mean, it, it is literally the thickness of the mixing needle for the, um, for the hormones, the trigger, sorry, not the trigger, the, the stimulation hormones. And yeah, I kind of panicked. Are you sure you got the right one? Um, the pharmacist assured me that yes, it is the right one. It's, yeah, I mean, standard 21 gauge, one and a half inch. So yeah, it's nice and warm. So we'll open it. So I know that most videos I've seen around here, they're US ones. Um, here we have the pronto jets, which is already dosed up, so we just have to get everything from the vial. Now, a little trick I found is tapping it, pulling back a bit, so that I have a bit of oil gathering inside the tip, so when I pull it back, it just like comes back down. It's just to avoid wastage. I don't know if it really, really makes a difference, but I'm a bit peculiar about that. Anyway, so that's an air bubble. And that is, there you go. So I had the little drop here. So that means it's ready. I'm just gonna pop that back on. And because I have the, the hot compress currently warming up my hip, I have put the, the water back to the boil because I want to keep it really, really nice and warm. And a little trick is just to balance, I don't know if you see it just to balance this bit over. I'm just gonna warm it up. I don't leave it for too long. It's 
just to warm up the oil a bit while I get this area ready. So that's great. I'm out of plasters, so that's not cool. I knew I should have bought some more, but never mind. So I've been warming this up, as you can see. I'm going to put the compress back into the hot water. I think the oil is nice and warm now. Don't need to warm it up too much. Probably gonna try to zoom in. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, it's nice and warm. The next bit is to try and find, I don't wanna do it too much on the outside. I find that I get more lumps here. Um, so I still have a little bruise from a couple of days. I must have popped the vessel when I did the injection. So I don't want to go in there. It's a bit tender here, maybe there. I think once I found, yeah. A trick that I found from, uh, it was Chelsea Hansen, is if you're not sure if the area is the right one, is to move your leg like this and feel your muscle. And if you feel your muscle, then you're in the right place because obviously, you know, you're in the upper quadrant. As my, my nurse explained to me as well, you can go further back towards the inside as long as you don't get into the center and you can go a bit further back around the side, further around the side. So it doesn't have to be, it's not such a small area because if you do have, I know in the circle, then circle a quite small area. But the problem is if you get a knot in there, then you know the next day or even two days later it's not it's not going to be completely gone and you're not going to be able to inject in the same place so just try to move a bit and you feel your muscle so i i'm assessing it and i think here here is right for today so here we go i'm just going to do wipe a bit with detto All right, now the nitty gritty. That is always the, the scary part. I don't know why, it still gives me anxiety. I know it's not gonna be painful, but I always, I don't know, I always freak out a bit. That's why I put it where I want it. And then I go one, two, three. <sighs> Breathe out. Now a thing that I found out is, and is genius is, I push a little bit in and I twist it a bit it doesn't hurt push a little bit of the product in twist it push a little bit of the product in twist it again and push the rest one two three four come done that's it the reason for the twisting and like I say I think it's absolutely genius is you see the shape of the of the syringe when you put it all in one place it actually stays in one place whereas this way it goes around and now it's gone for a nice little massage that's the thing that i notice if i don't massage it well right after i've done it most likely i'm gonna have a knot or a lump although the twisting thing really really changed the game like absolutely i don't get half as many lumps and knots as i did right at the beginning but massaging so as you can see i, I just massage with the cotton with dettol and i put the other one on top um just so i don't sting dettol <laughs> it smells quite strong um, usually I would put a plaster, as I say, I forgot to buy new ones, so I'm going to leave that a little bit alone, and I'm just going to stick it with tape, surgical tape, just get another small cotton pad. I do get a little bit of bleeding. But sometimes, you know, just hit a vessel and don't realise and then it bleeds a bit more, but that's okay. So leave it here. I'm going 
and I keep massaging a little bit. So, massage. I tend to move my hip as well. I don't, like, I have no clue that actually helps. But it makes me feel good about myself. And, uh, yeah. I don't feel like I need to massage it forever. Just like a couple of minutes has been. And then now I got my very, very nice hot compress heat pad. Just trying it. And I'm going to pop it against and massage over the compress to help diffuse the medication into the area. And now, and I'm going to pop that over it. I'm going to keep it for a few minutes. And I'll be good to go. And with these things, I assure you that I will not get any not alarms. And if I do, it is going to be minimal, very, very small. Nothing like the first time I actually got myself a proper lump that I could barely lie down on my side. It was like really sore, really painful. And since I've gathered all these tips, and apply them, pain no more, and I can actually sleep at night. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. If it was, um, then great. Um, like I said, there are so many videos out, out there. Um, it's very hard to sort through them. Everybody's got different tips and techniques. I'm just trying to uh, to compile the ones that I, I think work the best for me and that were recommended by the fertility nurses they've been doing this for quite a few years i think they know what they're on about um and also i think it's uh it's interesting to have uh, someone else just showing how to do it by yourself because there's loads of videos out there where the husbands do it and we're not all fortunate enough to have husbands working nine to five like mine works in hospitality um he's pretty much gone from 10 up until 12 so I can't wait on him so I have to deal with this by myself and you know what hasn't been that bad so that's it good luck um, I hope everything goes well with your treatment um, for my part things are okay I had a scan today but we had two embryo transferred um, it was three weeks ago they have both implanted one is doing pretty well the other one is a bit behind um but i'm also having um struggles with my immune system so i'm under heavy medication to control that so that my immune system does not reject the pregnancy so it's a bit um it's a bit of a roller coaster ride because some days the bloods are good and some days the blood the the hcg is not going up as as much as we would like them to so yeah it's a bit uh, it's a bit stressful at this point i have no clue which way things can go um can go either way it's very still very early on but here's hoping so sending all sorts of uh hope and uh, baby vibes to everyone out there i hope to get some back okay bye